What's up guys? I'm in Taipei right now and you want proof of that? It is in this bubble tea only found in Taipei as far as I know it uh, This is just a regular milk tea with grass jelly because the big poles are sold out and the normal poles require 10 minutes of waiting so I just got the grass jelly. Anyway, um, well, that's not how I wanted to start the video. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, millions of you replied to my Insta story asking uh, for recommendations on night markets to visit. And uh, you guys have said Rao He Night Market. So I went to Rao He Guang Guang Ye Shi. I believe that's the name. The video footage, you will read the Chinese there and uh, <laughs> figure out if what I said was correct. But anyway, yes, Rao He Night Market was where I visited in the end. And why I said millions of you will, that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but it's because you mean the world to me. <laughs> so I went to Rao He Night Market and uh, had a lot of fun. So I'm going to cover the food I ate there tonight. And uh, it's just going to be voiceover footage again so yeah i didn't really record myself vlogging at the night market because it was noisy it was very crowded sticky and uh, i had some friends with me as well so i didn't want the videoing to get too much in the way so i just videoed mainly a little bit of the food and the place uh where i ate them so uh here goes so we entered rao he night market after getting off a taxi and uh, you can see it's Rao He Guang Guang Ye Shi so I was kinda right it was very narrow walkways very crowded and the first stop we had was this pork noodles thing I think I got a pork ribs with noodles soup uh, my friends got braised pork with noodles and the braised pork over rice with egg and we shared a fried tofu dish it was alright, not great, not spectacular just to fill our stomachs a little bit Next thing I had was Da Chang Pao Xiao Chang, which essentially was a Taiwanese hot dog. So there was this rice bun thing. Uh, he spread some sauce in it, put some raw garlic, a little bit of chili, some peanuts, ground peanuts, and then relish or you know preserved vegetables, I believe. And the piece de la resistance, the final thing on this bun, is of course the main star, the Taiwanese sausage. This whole dish was super delicious like i've always wanted to try it because it looks so interesting and man i was not disappointed uh, i know the dish looks very phallic very weird <laughs> but trust me it was a very nice balance of sweet savory spicy all in one the this dish you, know, you see now is this chicken and cheese thing it was the worst dish in the market don't get it <laughs> Alright, this is a sticker shop which was quite interesting because the store owner stopped me from filming. Next we had mochi, uh, moati. Very nice, different from what you have in Singapore because it has stuffing. Uh, the peanut one was the best. And then we walked around some more and we decided to try this uh, poached steak dish which uh, was about $8, I think, in Sing. Uh, it was nice, uh, you just gotta stick to the simple one which is just salt seasoning, don't add any sauces because that way you can taste the true taste of the beef. Now is the main star of the market really, uh, Hu Jiao Bing black peppered buns. So this is essentially bun stuffed with minced pork and a lot of green onions. You can see the guy just dabbing the entire bun in a bowl of green onions before sending it into the oven which is kind of like a Chinese tandoori oven of sorts. And this was something, oh my goodness, you can see the bun burnt there. And uh, this was something I saw in Food Wars or Shokugeki no Soma, the anime, and it looked incredible. And I must say the anime painted it really quite true to the actual real life store. <laughs> it was a very fun experience queuing, watching them uh, in the act. And uh, these buns were really piping hot, very nice textures, crispy on the outside, nice chewy bun. Very delicious, savoury black pepper taste on the inside. And now this dish is really interesting. It's an ice cream crepe or sort. So he first shaved some peanut candy, sticky peanut candy, onto the crepe, followed by a topping of one taro ice cream scoop and two passion fruit ice cream. And then we added a herb, which was I think coriander or parsley. I do not know the name, but it would give a nice refreshing kick uh, to this whole dish. And it was a nice way to wrap up. Uh, especially after eating the piping hot Hu Jiao Bing, which was delicious once again, by the way. 
So yeah, this was a nice refreshing kick and it was the last thing we ate in Rauha Night Market, which proved to be quite a nice experience after all. And that brings me back to the hotel in Taipei. Beautiful bubble tea by the way, I really like it very much. And uh, just wanted to say that the, although I told you guys not to suggest to me Shilin Night Market because it was basic, I went there in the end. <laughs> and uh, I had no regrets because it was still quite a new experience to me because I don't remember much of that night market or if I ever visited it at all actually when I went there about six years ago now. Uh, anyway, that wasn't much of a holiday either. Uh, and uh, wow, I was so pleasantly surprised because I had this very famous mi sua or uh, rice vermicelli noodle soup thing. Yeah boy, I came to Shilin in the end. <laughs> A lot of you would know this place, A Zhong Mian Xian. So it's this uh, famous mi sua that has uh, pork intestines I believe with this noodle soupy dish, very starchy soup. And then I added a ladle of vinegar into this small bowl and it was delicious! I hope you did not hear my phone buzz, but either way, it was delicious! <sighs> Come on! <laughs> I have to say it again. The, the, the Azong Mian Xian was delicious. Fantastic! My mind was blown because I was so skeptical about how good a bowl of misua can be until I tasted that one <laughs> and it was amazing, fantastic and it was only for like 55 or 50 Taiwan dollars so that's about under 3 Sing dollars and it was an amazing bowl of food. <laughs> so yeah, that was the main highlight of Shilin Market for myself. It's already 12.47 a.m. so I was out in my night market walkabout, walkathon if you will, uh, for about 5 hours I think. It began in Rauhe at about 7.45 p.m. and now I'm back here in the hotel at 12.47. So yeah, very nice 5 hours spent outside in Taipei which will wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little journey in Taipei's uh, night markets and uh, hopefully you guys uh, would travel there and taste the food for yourself. I know I didn't travel much of Rauhe night market because of time constraints really and uh, it was already nightfall so I didn't have much sights to see. So hopefully one day I can go back there on a proper holiday where I have more time to slowly take in the sights, the views and everything else they have to offer because I believe that Rauhe was a little bit underwhelming from what I walked today but yeah, I just hope to give it another chance and uh, obviously eat all the good food again. Uh, so until next time, hopefully uh, not too not too long ago, not, not too long away. <laughs> yeah, it's getting late. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see here, uh, don't forget to leave, give it a like, a subscribe or whatever. You know what? Just do whatever you want to do and uh, have fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Yeah, boy, I came to Shilin in the end. <laughs>